In this video, I'll show you how to write linear equations in general form. This is part one in the series. The question reads, write the equation in general form of a line having a slope of m is equal to 2 and passing through the point 1 and negative 3. The first thing that you have to do is write your equation in slope y-intercept form, which looks like this. y is equal to mx plus b, where m represents your slope and b represents your y-intercept. Our slope is provided, it's 2. So that's the first thing that I'll place in my equation. I have y is equal to 2x plus b. Now to find my y-intercept, which is represented by the letter b, I have to apply both 1 and negative 3 into x and y of this equation that I'm building, where I end up with negative 3 is equal to 2 times 1 plus b. Now the reason why I'm using slope y-intercept form to begin with is because after we find it in slope y-intercept form, we can convert it into general form, which looks like this. By bringing all the terms, the x term, the y term, and the constant to one side. So let me go ahead and find b. Negative 3 on the left side, 2 on the right side. Bring this over. I end up with negative 3 minus 2 is equal to b. Therefore, my equation in slope y-intercept form is y is equal to 2x minus 5. Like I said earlier, to put it in general form, it needs to look like this. So I will take this 2 over and this 5 over. And by all means, I could have just taken this y over. That's allowed. And I end up with negative 2x plus y plus 5 is equal to 0. Now some teachers may not like you to have a leading negative. And notice that our leading coefficient negative 2 is negative. So we can multiply the whole equation by negative 1. And this step is totally up to you. So if I multiply this whole equation by negative 1, I end up with positive 2x minus y minus 5 is equal to 0. That's the solution to question 1. In question 2 we're asked, Write the equation in general form of the line passing through the point 3 and 2, but is perpendicular this time to the line y is equal to 3x minus 7. Notice the difference between this question and the previous one. In the previous one, we were explicitly told the slope as 2, whereas this one we're not. We're told that it is perpendicular to the line y is equal to 3x minus 7. If you recall, if you have a slope that is perpendicular, you must take its negative reciprocal. So in our case, the slope of this equation is equal to 3. And the slope of our new equation is going to be the negative reciprocal of 3 because it's perpendicular to this line. To find the negative reciprocal of 3, we will flip it where we end up with 1 over 3 and switch its sign. So currently it, was, currently it is positive. We need to switch it so that it is negative. So the slope of our new equation will be negative 1 over 3. That being said, we'll start off with the same technique as before. y is equal to mx plus b, where my m is negative 1 over 3, x plus b. I'll substitute the only point that they give us, x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2, this point. Let's see what happens. Substituting this 2 into here, 2 is equal to negative 1 over 3 times 3 plus b. Luckily, these 3's cancel out, leaving us with 2 is equal to minus 1 plus b. Bringing that over, 2 plus 1 is equal to b, and that is equal to 3. Therefore, our equation will be y is equal to negative 1 over 3x plus b. We need to convert this now into general form. This is not in general form. So to do that, and unlike before where I brought these two terms over, this time I'm only going to bring this y over. Where I end up with 0 is equal to negative 1 over 3x minus y plus 3. And so there you have it. Two examples on how to write linear equations in general form.